Oh, hey there. Welcome to another video on Weirdly OCD. Today we are going to be reorganizing my linen closet. Now I did this a little while back, not on my YouTube channel, but I did it not too long after we moved into this house last year and posted the before and after pictures on Facebook. However, I never did a video of it, so I'm going to try and kind of reorganize it again with some different basket systems and even some labeling, which I didn't do the last time, and I'm going to bring you along for that and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So first I want to give you an overview of what the closet currently looks like. Now when we first moved in, um, everything in the closet was just kind of thrown in there because we were just simply trying to move in as quick as we could. We just wanted to get all our stuff moved and yeah, that's pretty much the reason. But as I said earlier, last year I did a little bit of reorganization in this closet and now I'm going to do it again. So first we're going to start over here with the door. As you see, I have a calendar on the door. My intention with this calendar that I got from Dollar Tree was to kind of make the cleaning routine a little easier on myself. I was going to label each day with a room in the house and that same day of every week I was going to clean that specific room. That way I'm not running around all on the weekend or one particular day and try to do like two, three, four, five rooms at one time and feel rushed. I could take my time with each room and you know make sure it was thoroughly cleaned and good for at least the week and then I would come back to that same room the same day next week and do it again. Same with every other room in the house. Now starting with this top shelf in the linen closet, let's just call it what it is. A hot mess. Um, there's kind of a hodgepodge of everything up there. We've got first aid items. We've got kind of like a little bit of a uh, emergency kit that we started making. There's a couple candles in there, a lighter, a bright flashlight. I've got a toiletry bag, a handheld vacuum cleaner, and some tools here like a screwdriver set, nails, screws, all that fun stuff. Then we get a little better. I had originally bought these baskets from Big Lots. They were about $3 each to hold paper towels, toilet paper, things like that. And it's pretty much worked. So I don't have any complaints as far as that. That shelf's actually stayed pretty organized and the way you see it now. Going down here, I had baskets down here with the towels and the washcloths and the hand towels in them. However, you had to pretty much pull the basket out to get the towels out and then sometimes it would fall onto the floor the whole basket would and uh, it was just kind of a hodgepodge mess so we just decided to take them out of the baskets and just make sure that they were neatly folded on the shelf and then down here uh, this basket here is a bunch of toiletries We've got a uh, soap refill, a ton, and I mean ton, of Old Spice body wash. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's one, two, three, four, five of them. Yeah, a couple years ago I got a really good deal on Old Spice body wash from work. And um, let's just say I think I bought a little too much. So that's kind of like bath stuff. And then over here... I just kind of have like odd and end things like extra tissue, light bulbs, um, Swiffer duster refills, cotton swabs, things like that. Um, I have a hammer here and I know it doesn't go with anything here but it didn't really fit in any of the kitchen drawers like the kitchen junk drawer. Um, so this is kind of the best solution I had at the moment was just to lay it on the shelf like that. And then down here I just got a step stool.
So you're probably wondering, uh, Justin, if you've already reorganized the linen closet once, why are you doing it again? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, there are just things in this closet here that are not working. Um, there's just too much in certain one specific baskets, and I'd like to break it up into smaller categories, you could say. Two, um, I kind of want to hide the supplies, but still have them in accessible totes, baskets, what have you. And thirdly, I want all the containers in the closet to look the same. I mean, as you can see here, let me turn you around. I've got these gray plastic ones from Big Lots. I've got a couple little white ones up here. I've got this shoe plastic tote there. And I just want them all to be the same. Is that too picky of me? I mean, I guess maybe it is. That's why my channel's called Weirdly OCD. Um, because I am. I'm weirdly OCD, especially you know when it comes to organization and stuff. But anyway, that is the reason. Oh, and I want to label stuff. Um, so now that I told you why I want to reorganize all this, let me show you the supplies that I'm going to be working with to do that. All right, so the things I'm going to be using to reorganize the linen closet are as follows. Uh, the first two things are from the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. So I picked up a few of these, and I've actually had these supplies for a while. If you've been watching my channel, I've been talking about this linen closet reorganization now for probably two months, um, and I'm finally getting around to filming it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had purchased from the Dollar Tree a few of these collapsible totes, bins, my best Vanna White impression. Um, and they just, you know, open up like that. They're a pretty decent size. Um, these are the bigger ones. I'm not sure what size they are. I took the tag off, but I'm going to put like paper towels and toilet paper in there. Um, I think I'm gonna lay them down though like this. That way you don't see them. Same thing with the toilet paper. Like I said, I just want the supplies kind of hidden for like a cleaner look in the closet. And then I got, let me grab, you know what? I showed you the wrong one. The one I just showed you, the smaller one, is going to be for the smaller things like the toiletries, the refill soaps, the extra cleaning stuff like the Swiffer refills and whatnot. So let me show you the one I was going, I meant to show you, and that's the bigger one, the bigger collapsible. Now, this still has the tag on it. It's 11 inches long by 10 and a half inches wide by 10 and a half inches high. This is going to be what's going to be used to store the paper towels and toilet paper because as you can see it's a lot deeper and a lot wider so obviously bigger things are going to go into the bigger totes and then to keep, kind of keep it all cohesive I found these little clips at um, Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to take a white chalk pen here and write on it like toilet paper, paper towels, first aid, bath, whatever the category may be. And then those are just going to clip on the front of the baskets. I don't know if I'm going to do it on the handle. I may also do it on the top. Not sure yet. We'll see how it looks. first thing we have to do with any reorganization um, project is we got to empty out the space so let's do that now
so the closet is completely done and before I forget I wanted to show you the packaging for the little clothes pin labels that I'm going to be using in case you're interested in wanting to use them um, the packaging looks like this they're by flea market fancy they were $3.99 from Hobby Lobby and it comes in a pack of six and I don't it was in like the scrapbooking area um, so I don't know if that's their intended use or not but I'm using them to label these bins so anyway drum roll here is the final I guess product <laughs> of the linen closet. Take a look. Alright, so I'm going to walk you through what I changed, where everything is at, and things like that. So first of all, I took the calendar off the door. I'm not using it, so there's no point in it being on the door, flying in our face when we're opening the door, falling off the door, so I took it off. So starting from the top, I put up here what we access the least. So I've got a kit my parents gave me years ago with a bunch of screws and uh, wall hanging things. Um, that is a little kit that Tony had. The hammer, which I relocated from the bottom now up here with the other tool things. Our little emergency kit we've got going so far. Our small little vacuum. And then up there, let me get the footstool so I can show you what actually is in the basket. Kind of hard to do one-handed. I've got just extra things, like there's a couple Swiffer handles, the refills, a mop refill, a couple light bulbs, there's a couple there, there's a black one, and an extra box of Kleenex. So then on this second shelf here, more eye level, I've got extra toiletries, body wash. If anybody needs Old Spice body wash, please come get it. <laughs> Um, a toiletry like travel bag in here and then I have extra q-tips and then in this one I have some first aid items such as uh, wipes, Vicks, tape, an arm brace thing um, then down here I have the paper towels and the bigger totes and uh, toilet paper and I ended up using two of those I don't know if you can see the second one back there because we have a lot of toilet paper and then down here on the very bottom I have the towels and this bigger tote and then washcloths and hand towels in that one now you'll notice that I did not label the little clips that is because I thought I had a white chalk pen and apparently I do not so that is pretty much the only thing left to do in the closet is just label those but other than that it is done so all in all I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I like that all the bins are the same style the same color all have the same labeling it's very cohesive clean streamlined now I did just show it to Tony before I showed it to you guys and the one thing he said he wasn't sure about is the towels being in a basket as I said before earlier in the video, we tried that once and it kind of got discombobulated and wasn't really working out. That's why we took it out of the tote. But I'm going to try it again, see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, then they'll just sit on the shelf like we've been doing. But if we can make it work, that would be great. That way this can stay totally cohesive and clean and fresh and look good. But that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my overhaul of our linen closet. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will link everything um, that I mentioned here in the description below as well, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.